What we do here is predominantly translational research, principally to get medical breakthroughs into a human patient. What Sonopil does, and it's unique, is it uses ultrasound. The patient just swallows it, it'll examine the whole gut wall and identify pathology where it exists. Currently available technology is based on optics, so it just images the surface of the gut as it passes down. Sonopil gets a much greater appreciation of the pathology that might be present underneath the surface of the bowel, cancer, IBD, Crohn's disease or, or such like. The whole gastrointestinal tract physiologically in the pig is very similar to that of the human being. The Rosario's relevant model, the, you know, 60 kilos, that's, that's a small human of course. Like humans, they're omnivorous, they will eat fiber and meat. And that's why it's the ideal model for this. Basically, we will do a small incision in the abdominal wall, exteriorize a small loop of bowel, which will allow us straight access into the GI tract. And then the capsule will be introduced and then the engineers will be looking at the activity that the capsule is picking up in vivo. Certainly my team are all veterinary anaesthetists and as veterinary surgeons we're committed to welfare of animals put to our trust. We also, by administering high quality anaesthetics, can reduce noise in the data and that reduces the variance in data, increases study power, which means less animals are being used. Everything you do is benefiting human beings as well as animals. So it really is the most satisfying aspect of veterinary anaesthesia. In the long term, the idea is actually that these devices will be able to biopsy the gut, to target pathology autonomously, and to treat it topically. So the, the pill will treat gastrointestinal diseases as well as diagnosing them. The technology is really quite limitless.